Word art is a fantastic way of creating engaging titles and text within Google Slides, but also gives you more creative control over how your text looks. To create Word art in Google Slides, what you need to do is head on up to Insert at the top navigation bar and head on down to where it says Word art. If we click on this, it will offer us a white box for us to type our text in too. If you'd like to add multiple lines of text, hold shift and enter on your keyboard. Although I don't recommend doing this as you cannot adjust the spacing between the lines. So I'm just going to leave mine at one line. And then once you're ready, click enter when you're done. As you can now see, the text has been created like so. And think of this text as though it's been turned into a shape, which means that you're able to stretch it out in whatever ways you want, just like shapes are inside of Google Slides. To adjust the size of text without stretching it, hold the shift key on your keyboard and drag from one of the corners. From here, you have the ability to animate your text, add things like drop shadows and reflections, as well as changing the font by using the font selection button up here and choosing a font that you'd like. I'm going to go with this one. And then you're also able to make the text bold if you want to and add italics. Finally, you're able to adjust the color of your text by clicking on the paint bucket fill tool over here and either choosing one of the default colors or creating your own custom color by clicking on the plus here. You can even make your text transparent if you want to, just leaving you the outline of the text. Alternatively though, you're able to add a gradient to your text by clicking on the gradient tab and choosing either one of the default gradients or adding your own custom gradient. I'm going to go with this blue one. Next, you're able to adjust the color of your border by clicking on the pen icon over here and you're able to choose from one of the default colors, add your own custom color, or you can remove the border altogether by clicking on this transparent button right at the bottom. Then you're able to adjust the border width if you want to by clicking on the border weight button over here. And you're also able to adjust the type of border that you get around your text.